Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Palace here. So nice to see you. Got a great story for us today. It's called Over a Mountain Somewhere in the World. That's our bison. Beautiful pictures. Over on a mountain, grazing in the morning sun, lived a woolly mother llama and her little cry of one. Roll, said the mother. I roll, said the one. So they roll in the dirt, grazing in the morning sun. South America. Andes Mountains. Beautiful. You notice the, the end of the words sound very similar. So those are rhyming words. Over on a mountain where the bamboo grew lived the giant mother panda and her little cubs too. Eat, said the mother. We eat, said the two. So they ate, ate, and ate where the bamboo grew. This is Asia. Minshaw Mountain. The house in Asia this summer in the Philippines. Over on a mountain, never... And over on a mountain near an evergreen tree lived a mother alpine ibex, her little kids three. Climb, said the mother, we climb, said the three. So they climbed on a ledge near an evergreen tree. Wow. And this is in Europe. The Alps. Those cuties. Over on a mountain where they often would snore lived the stocky mother, Wombat, and her little joeys four. Sleep, said the mother, we sleep, said the four. So they slept in the burrow where they often would snore. And this is in Australia. Blue Mountains. Over on a mountain where leaves and berries thrive live a shy mother gorilla and her little babies five. Forage, said the mother, we forage, said the five. So they foraged in a forest where leaves and berries thrive. This is in Africa. The Varinga Mountains. Those leopards? Over on a mountain where they did gymnastics lived the mother snow leopard and her little cub six. Leap, said the mother. We leap, said the six. So they leaped on the rocks where they did, where they did gymnastics. Back in Asia, Himalaya Mountains. Oh. Eagle. Wow. Over on a mountain gliding up towards heaven, that the huge mother eagle and her little eaglet seven. Soar, said the mother. We soar, said the seven. So they soared with the wind, gliding up towards heaven. North America, Alaskan range. Wow, I've been to Alaska. Beautiful. I wonder if that was Denali National Park. That looks like a puma. <clears throat> Over on a mountain where she knew how to wait, of the mother mountain lion and her little cubs eight. Pounce, said the mother, we pounce, said the eight. So they pounce on their prey, but they knew how to wait. North America, Rocky Mountains. Bison again. Over on a mountain where the sun does shine, lived the friendly mother yak and her little cubs nine. Little calves nine. Huddled, said the mother, we huddled, said the nine. So they huddled in the cold where the sun does shine. Asia, Alta Mountains. Penguins. Over on a mountain with his mate, a female hen, lived the father emperor penguin and his little chicks, ten. 
Waddle, said the father. We waddled, said the ten. So they waddled on the ice with his mate, a female hen. Antarctica. Trans Arctic Range. Oh, the mountains are in story. Alaska Range, Rocky Mountains in North America, South America, the Andes Mountains. See the different continents, boys and girls? Europe, we have the Alps, Africa, Ringa Mountains, all over to Asia, Alti Mountains, Henshaw Mountains, Himalaya Mountains in Australia, Blue Mountains. Over on a mountain, living wild, living free, as you look upon each page, count the babies that you see. Some live on the mountains that are in the USA. Others live on continents very far away. Once you've named the continents, then spy with your eyes to find a hidden creature. Every page has a surprise. Huh. Interesting. That fact or fiction is her heading. Mountain facts. Who are the hidden mountain animals? Chinchillas are rodents that are slightly larger than the ground squirrel. They live together in colonies, making their dens and burrows and among rocks. Chinchillas have soft, dense fur to protect them from the cold weather on the high Andes mountains. Golden eagles are raptors with beautiful gold feathers on the backs of their heads. They can be found in around areas where there is little water pursuing small mammals with their powerful beaks and talons. Unlike bald eagles, which are found near water and mainly hunt fish. Marmots are large squirrels that live in burrows and mountains, mountainous areas such as the Alps. They are very social and use loud whistles to communicate with each other. They are herbivores. They eat mainly grass, lichens, and mosses. Sugar gliders. Sugar gliders are small tree dwelling marsupials with fox-like ears and big eyes. They have tooth and faps of skin that span from the fifth finger to the first toe on each side of the body, which allows them to glide through the air from tree to tree. Gray-throated barbets are plump-looking solitary birds with large heads. They can be found in mountainous areas where they feed on fruit. They also eat a wide range of insects, including ants and beetles. Jumping spiders eat glacier fleas and springtails who have, in turn, eaten tiny bits of vegetation and pollen blown up to the Himalayas from many miles away. They spend the nights frozen waiting for heat from the sun to revive them in the daytime when they jump and scavenge for food. Moose are the largest members of the deer family. They are strong runners with hoof feet and long legs. Only the males have antlers which, droop, which drop off each year and regrow the following year. The biggest moose antlers in North America came from Alaska and the Yukon Territory. Bison, sorry, bighorn sheep are hoofed mammals named for the large horns. They are closely related to goats and gather in large herds most of the year. Bighorn sheep live in mountainous ranges from the Rocky Mountains in Colorado to southern Canada. Mountain Apollo butterflies live on steep sided slopes of high altitude mountains and tolerate a changing climate of dry summers and cold, snowy winters. This beautiful white butterfly is decorated with eye spots and shiny wings and transparent edges. Arctic terns are the champion long-distance travelers of the animal world. Traveling over 20,000 miles each year, when days grow shorter in the Arctic, they fly to Antarctica where summer is just starting so they can live in almost constant sunshine all throughout the year. So these are animals that we could find in the stories. So if you look in the pictures, they're really focused. There's some surprise animals. See right there? Huh. 
Did I die? There he was. Gotta have a really good eye for this one. You know, the illustrations are so important to the text, boys and girls. It's important that, you know, where we are reading the text, but also looking into illustrations because the illustrator really took his time and made these pictures very purposeful for our learning. Hope you enjoyed the story over on a mountain. I did, and I'm going to see you soon.